this video i'm going to show you how you can create this design using some graphics from vexels.com and i'll show you how to use vexels ai quote generator to come up with slogans for your t-shirt design i will also show you the mock-up generator feature in vexels and how you can use it to create amazing mock-ups for your designs so let's start before we begin, and if you're not aware of Vexels, it's a multi-platform that provides high-quality vector graphics, design resources, design templates, and an online t-shirt designer, in addition to a mock-up generator, a code generator, and much more. It's currently offering a fantastic deal and offering a 50% off of their annual subscriptions. I do use them on a regular basis for finding design ideas and resources, so grabbing their discount is an opportunity you don't want to miss. You'll find the link in the description for their discount offer. For today's video, I was searching for some graphics that I can use for my design until I found this cute cat graphics. So to download any graphics from Vexel, simply press on the download button and the graphics file will be downloaded in different formats. So I opened the AI format, just double click on the, on the file and it will be opened directly on your Adobe Illustrator window after i opened the file i decided to delete any unnecessary elements like this text box and i decided to flip the design using the transform tool i wanted the cat basically to look to the other side or so simply click on the design using the right mouse click choose transform and reflect i then ungrouped the design i and then used the magic wand tool to select any color group that I would like to change and use the color picker to change the colors. I wanted to apply the orange and black colors to the design to match the atmosphere of the Halloween. I played with the colors, removed unnecessary colors from the design and finally I decided to apply the orange to the background and the black color to the hat however i lost some of the uh, details of the hat so i decided to apply the gray color to these elements in order not to lose the details of the hat and again i removed any unnecessary from the design pen tool to draw a shadow shape at the bottom of the design like so and i cut the shape and paste it at the back of the cat then i went to vexels to search for an additional graphic elements i searched for a halloween pack to take some of the elements of the pack and add it to the design i like this one so i decided to download it and open it in adobe illustrator to take some of these elements and add it to my main design so I opened the downloaded package in my Adobe Illustrator, ungrouped the elements and started to take some of the graphic files to add to my artboard. So I added these bats and changed the, their colors to black. This pumpkin looks nice. I'm going to take it as well and add it to my design. I'm going to transform the pumpkin to look to the right side and change any color to black. Then using Vexel's code generator, I decided to look for a code to match my design. So if you, if you simply open the code generator, you can search for any topic. I searched for Halloween and then I chose the funny atmosphere. This will give me funny results. I like this result too cute to spook so i decided to use it for my design so using the text tool i'm going to add the text too cute at the top of the design then i will search for a better font this one looks really nice so i'm um, i duplicated the text convert the layer to an outline added a white fill then I used the pathfinder to make the letters into one shape. Then I added this, a black stroke to the word to create this effect. And now you can see that the text looks like it has a shadow. 
I started to add my additional text at the bottom of the design. So I also used a nice font for the word spook. This font looks really nice, the 24 font. However, it has some transparent areas at the top. So I decided to duplicate the text and send the second copy to the back and also using the pathfind I converted the second layer to one shape and changed its color to white so that it fills the transparent areas at the back now using the transparency panel I'm going to copy the spoke word group all my background elements and paste the word spook in the transparency panel and then I'm going to apply an offset path to the word to create this outline around the word and then I deleted of the orange background so that I have a clean and then I added the word to and started to add additional elements to the design I added these elements to the background of the cat like and I added additional text. I also added this small pumpkin like uh, a necklace. Now I think my design is ready. So I went back to Vexels and using the mockup generator, I opened the mockup tool, uploaded my design and downloaded the design on a couple of mockups. So if you're ready to take your designs to the next level and save some serious money, head over to Vexels and check out their annual subscription plans. And as always, if you have any questions or want to share your experience with Vaxels, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more design tips and resources. Until next time.